The Adelaide Footy League, strengthening communities through footy. Good evening and welcome to the 2023 Keith Sims Medal presentation awarded to the fairest and most brilliant player in the Adelaide Footy League Division 1 competition. A life member since 1978, Keith Sims was awarded the OAM in 2003 for his service to sport, particularly through the SA Amateur Football League. Since 2016, the League Division 1 medal has been named in his honour. Just a reminder, any player with an asterisk by their name has been found guilty of an offence and is ineligible for the Keith Sims medal. We wish all the players in Division 1 all the best for your finals campaign. Please enjoy the evening and join us in celebrating our champions tonight. Before we get into the count, we would like to thank our 2023 principal partner, Channel 9. And our major partners, West End. Sharon, Police Credit Union, Breakthrough Mental Health, O'Neill Sportswear, CMAX Clinical Research, and our valued partners, Powerade, Villies Bakery, Wakefield Sports Clinic, Bianco Industrial and Construction Supplies, Neomorph Mouthguards, Belgravia Sports and New Balance, and SA Gourmet Meats. And the game wouldn't go on without our apparel and medical partners, ISC, Belgravia Sports, Nelson Teamwear, O'Neill Sportswear, Sports Centre and Viva Sports, as well as Medipro and IDM Maxiplast. We also support the following charities. Breakthrough Mental Health, and the Little Heroes Foundation. Let's get into the count for the 2023 Keith Sims Medal. And we begin with the leaderboard at the end of round five, and it's Bo Schwarz from Glenunga, who leads by two. He's out on nine. Hayden Jolly, one of the early favourites from Prince Alfred Old Collegians, two back on seven. Abe Davis, fellow Glenunga player, on six. So... The two Glenoga boys have been strong in the opening rounds of the season. He's in equal third alongside Chad Showenmakers from Teetra Gully and Sean Tapp, Sacred Heart, Old Collegians. Sam Danielle from Broadview is there on five votes. He's alongside a large field of players on five votes. Cooper Gaffney, Alex McKay, Bo McRae, Nigel Osborne, Blake Penny and John Vrodos. All on five votes at the end of round five. Let's get into the live count now. Before we get into the live count, let's take a look at some highlights from round six to 10. Round six. Brighton Bombers versus Sacred Heart Old Collegians. One vote. Brighton Bombers, O. Carthy. Two votes. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, B. McRae. Three votes. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, T. Giadresco. Old Ignatians versus Prince Alfred Old Collegians. One vote. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, J. Davis. Two votes. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, T. Brazzle. Three votes. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, H. Jolly. St. Peter's Old Collegians versus Goodwood Saints. 
One vote, St Peter's Old Collegians, B McGill. Two votes, St Peter's Old Collegians, H Hazeman. Three votes, Goodwood Saints, N Favretto. Teetri Gully versus Port District. One vote, Port District, M Weistra. Two votes, Port District, S Gray. Three votes, Port District, C Gaffney. Glenunga versus Broadview. One vote, Glenunga, D Mitchell. Two votes, Glenunga, S Wanky. Three votes, Glenunga, B Schwarz. Round seven, Broadview versus St Peter's Old Collegians. One vote, Broadview, J Fergus. Two votes, St Peter's Old Collegians, E Allen. Three votes, Broadview, J O'Leary. Port District versus Glenunga. One vote, Glenunga, A Davis. Two votes, Port District, K Carpenny. Three votes, Port District, J Niskahus. Goodwood Saints versus Old Ignatians. One vote, Old Ignatians, W Ferrari. Two votes, Goodwood Saints, J. Cleland. Three votes, Goodwood Saints, N. Burgess. Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, A. Colotto. Two votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, T. Kakuro. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, C. Rankin. Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus Brighton Bombers. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, J. Davis. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, C. Pitt. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, H. Jolly. Round 8, Port District versus Goodwood Saints. One vote, Goodwood Saints, C. Pridham. Two votes, Port District, P. Cockatoo Collins. Three votes, Port District, K. Carpenny. Brighton Bombers versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote, Brighton Bombers, N. Osborne. Two votes, Brighton Bombers, J. Tarker. Three votes, Tea Tree Gully, B. Penny. Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus Glenunga. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, L. McCauley. Two votes, Glenunga, A. Davis. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, M. Wicks. Broadview versus Old Ignatians. One vote, Broadview, D. Pratico. Two votes, Broadview, J. O'Leary. Three votes, Broadview, N. Little. Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus St Peter's Old Collegians. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, B. McRae. Two votes, St Peter's Old Collegians, J. Vrodos. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, T. McDermott. Round 9. Old Ignatians versus Brighton Bombers. One vote, Brighton Bombers, J. Plenty. Two votes, Brighton Bombers, J. Evans. Three votes, Brighton Bombers, N. Osborne. Tea Tree Gully versus Prince Alfred Old Collegians. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, M. Mazzini. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, A. Bradley. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, H. Jolly. St. Peter's Old Collegians versus Port District. One vote, Port District, H. Dwyer. Two votes, Port District, G. Shepherd. Three votes, Port District, S. Gray. Glenunga versus Sacred Heart Old Collegians. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, C. Rankin. Two votes, Glenunga. A. Haran. Three votes, Glenunga. A. Davis. Goodwood Saints versus Broadview. One vote, Goodwood Saints. A. Scara. Two votes, Goodwood Saints. N. Favretto. Three votes, Goodwood Saints. C. Pridham. Round 10. Port District versus Broadview. One vote, Port District. C. Gaffney. Two votes, Port District. T. Gray. Three votes, Broadview. S. Danielle. Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Goodwood Saints. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, C. Simons. Two votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, A. K. Lotto. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, E. Moore. Brighton Bombers versus Glenunga. One vote, Glenunga, N. Wanke. Two votes, Brighton Bombers, N. Osborne. Three votes, Glenunga, S. Wanke. Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus St. Peter's Old Collegians. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, T. Brazel. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, H. Jolly. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, J. Trengove. Old Ignatians versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote, Tea Tree Gully, L. Brown. Two votes, Tea Tree Gully, T. Martin. Three votes, Tea Tree Gully, A. McKay. And that concludes the voting to round 10. Time to pause the count and take a look at the leaderboard just after the halfway point of the season and it's Hayden Jolly from Prince Alfred out by six votes. What a sterling first half of the season he's had. He's on 18. 
He's six ahead of the Glenunga pair, Abe Davis and Bo Schwarz, both there on 12 votes. The fear for them will be, are they stealing votes from each other? They're six back. They've got plenty of ground to make up to chase down Hayden Jolly, the runaway leader, after round 10. The 2020 winner, Nigel Osborne from Brighton Bombers, is right there, just one back in fourth place. Cooper Gaffney and Jay O'Leary are both there on nine votes. Big field of eight, Kenneth Carpenter, Alex McKay, Bo McRae and Blake Penny, all on eight votes alongside Sam Danielle. Jack Tringo, the 2021 winner from Prince Alfred Old Collegians, he's there on seven. And if we flip over to the third page of the leaderboard, we can see Johnny Rodos from St. Peter's Old Collegians is there on seven alongside Nick Favretto, last year's winner as well. And then three players round us out on six, Chad Show and Makers, Sean Tapp, Charlie Pridham. Let's return to the count. Before we get into the live count, let's take a look at some highlights from rounds 11 to 15. Round 11. Goodwood Saints versus Prince Alfred Old Collegians. One vote, Goodwood Saints, Jay Carter. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, M. Slee. Three votes, Goodwood Saints, A. Rana. Glenunga versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote, Glenunga, M. McMahon. Two votes, Glenunga, F. Wisman. Three votes, Glenunga, L. Bennett. Broadview versus Sacred Heart Old Collegians. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, N. Brooks. Two votes, Broadview, E. Smith. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, B. Noble. St. Peter's Old Collegians versus Brighton Bombers. One vote, Brighton Bombers, J. Boyle. Two votes, St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Lockwood. Three votes, St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Rodos. Port District versus Old Ignatians. One vote, Port District, G. Shepherd. Two votes, Port District, S. Gray. Three votes, Port District, T. Heffernan. Round 12, Old Ignatians versus Glenunga. One vote, Glenunga, T. Bealby. Two votes, Glenunga, B. Schwarz. Three votes, Glenunga, A. Davis. Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Port District. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, S. Kerrish. Two votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, N. Brooks. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, B. Noble. Tea Tree Gully versus St. Peter's Old Collegians. One vote, Tea Tree Gully, L. Brown. Two votes, Tea Tree Gully, B. Latham. Three votes, Tea Tree Gully, B. Penny. Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus Broadview. One vote, Broadview, S. Danielle. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, C. Wildman. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, O. Clark. Brighton Bombers versus Goodwood Saints. One vote, Goodwood Saints, O. Johnson. Two votes, Brighton Bombers, R. O. Lachlan Johncock. Three votes, Brighton Bombers, J. Tarker. Round 13, Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Old Ignatians. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, T. McDermott. Two votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, H. McAuliffe. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, B. McRae. Port District versus Prince Alfred Old Collegians. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, J. Neal. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, J. Trengove. 
Three votes. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, C. Wildman. Broadview versus Brighton Bombers. One vote. Broadview, J. O'Leary. Two votes. Brighton Bombers, N. Osborne. Three votes. Broadview, D. Pratico. Goodwood Saints versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote. Tea Tree Gully, B. Penny. Two votes. Goodwood Saints, J. Ridgewell. Three votes. Goodwood Saints, R. Gray. St. Peter's Old Collegians versus Glenunga. One vote. Glenunga, A. Davis. Two votes. Glenunga, N. Wanke. Three votes. Glenunga, A. Haran. Round 14. Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus Sacred Heart Old Collegians. One vote. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, S. Kerish. Two votes. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, S. Tap. Three votes. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, C. Simons. Old Ignatians versus St. Peter's Old Collegians. One vote. St. Peter's Old Collegians, T. Bedford. Two votes. St. Peter's Old Collegians, N. Michaels. Three votes. St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Vrodos. Brighton Bombers versus Port District. One vote. Port District, S. Gray. Two votes. Brighton Bombers, A. Warner. Three votes. Brighton Bombers, N. Osborne. Glenunga versus Goodwood Saints. One vote. Glenunga, T. Bealby. Two votes. Glenunga, B. Schwarz. Three votes. Glenunga, A. Haran. Tea Tree Gully versus Broadview. One vote. Broadview, N. Little. Two votes. Tea Tree Gully, B. Penny. Three votes. Broadview, J. O'Leary. Round 15. Goodwood Saints versus St. Peter's Old Collegians. One vote. St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Duncan. Two votes. Goodwood Saints, T. Lynch. Three votes. St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Vrodos. Broadview versus Glenunga. One vote. Glenunga, A. Haran. Two votes. Broadview, J. O'Leary. Three votes. Broadview, S. Danielle. Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus Old Ignatians. One vote. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, A. Bradley. Two votes. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, C. Curran. Three votes. Prince Alfred Old Collegians, C. Wildman. Port District versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote. Port District, K. Carpany. Two votes. Port District, G. Shepherd. Three votes. Port District, C. Gaffney. Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Brighton Bombers. One vote. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, S. Tap. Two votes. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, E. Moore. Three votes. Sacred Heart Old Collegians, B. Noble. That concludes the voting to round 15. Let's catch our breath and take a look at the leaderboard at the end of round 15. They have come from everywhere in the pursuit of Hayden Jolly. He is stuck on 18 votes, not one vote in those last five rounds. And everyone has moved. And have a look at the leaderboard now. There is five of them within two votes. Abe Davis from Glenunga on 16. Nigel Osborne. Could he win a second one? The boy from Brighton Bombers on 16. Bo Schwarz on 16 as well. What a season the two boys from Glenunga Rams have had, Davis and Schwartz, both there on 16. And John Vrodos, he has polled beautifully in the last couple of rounds. He sits there on 16 votes as well. Five of them, all within two of the lead with just three rounds remaining. Across to the second page of the leaderboard, Jay O'Leary from Broadview is there on 15 votes. Blake Penny just won back on 14. The boy from Tea Tree Gully. Sam Danielle, another from the Tigers who have polled extremely well to this point in the count. He's one of three lads on 12 votes. Uh, Cooper Gaffney, Port District, been an outstanding player for a couple of years now down there at the Magpies. And Bradley Noble from Sacred Heart of the Legions, they're all on 12 votes. Page three of the leaderboard has Bo McRae from Sacred Heart on 11 and a big group on nine. Alex Haran, Kenneth Carpenty, Sean Tapp, and Jack Trengove, of course, a previous winner of this award also. It is an absolute thriller. Let's take a look at some highlights from the final three rounds of season 2023.
John 16, St. Peter's Old Collegians versus Broadview. One vote, St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Duncan. Two votes, Broadview, B. Manning. Three votes, Broadview, S. Danielle. Old Ignatians versus Goodwood Saints. One vote, Goodwood Saints, J. Cleland. Two votes, Goodwood Saints, J. Johnson. Three votes, Goodwood Saints, J. Heitman. Tree Galley versus Sacred Heart Old Collegians. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, E. Moore. Two votes, Tree Galley, B. Penny. Three votes, Tree Galley, P. Personos. Glenunga versus Port District. One vote, Glenunga, B. Schwarz. Two votes, Glenunga, H. Prosser. Three votes, Glenunga, A. Davis. Brighton Bombers versus Prince Alfred Old Collegians. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, K. Toza. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, H. Jolly. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians, C. Pritchard. So a return to the leaderboard at the end of round 16. The moves continue to come. We are on the edges of our seats. Hayden Jolly picked up a couple of votes. He'd been stuck on 18 for a long time. He moves out to 20, retains the lead. A Davis picked up three votes in round 16. He moves on to 19, two ahead of his teammate Bo Schwarz. Nigel Osborne's still there on 16, alongside John Vrodos. Blake Penny is there on 16 also. Jay O'Leary from Broadview on 15, alongside Sam Danielle. They are all live chances, so there's still eight possibilities to take out the Keith Sims medal tonight. We'll go through the rest of the leaderboard. Cooper, Cooper Gaffney from Port District on 12, alongside Bradley Noble from Sacred Heart of Collegians. And then Bo McRae from Sacred Heart on 11. They've had a very strong year, Sacred Heart. Good even year. Alex Haran, Kenneth Carpenty, Sean Tapp and Jack Trengove round out our leaderboard on nine votes. But it's all at the top. Hayden Jolly, Abe Davis, Bo Schwarz, Nigel Osborne, John Rodos, Blake Penny, Jay O'Leary, Sam Danielle. Our live chances with two rounds remaining. Let's return to the count with round 17. Round 17. Tree Gully versus Brighton Bombers. One vote, Tree Gully, A. McKay. Two votes, Tree Gully, R. Spittle. Three votes, Tree Gully, B. Latham. St. Peter's Old Collegians versus Sacred Heart Old Collegians. One vote, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, O. Lovelock. Two votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, C. Simons. Three votes, Sacred Heart Old Collegians, A. K. Lotto. Old Ignatians versus Broadview. One vote, Broadview, S. Danielle. Two votes, Broadview, J. O'Leary. Three votes, Broadview, E. Day. Goodwood Saints versus Port District. One vote, Goodwood Saints, R. Gray. Two votes, Port District, C. Gaffney. Three votes, Port District, L. Ryan. Glenunga versus Prince Alfred Old Collegians. One vote, Glenunga, N. Wanky. Two votes, Glenunga. M. McMahon. Three votes. Glenunga. A. Davis. And that concludes the voting to round 17. So in that critical clash between Glenunga and Prince Alfred, it's Abe Davis with best of field votes. He jumps to the leaderboard for the first time this evening. He has Hayden Jolly by two and he's blown everyone else out of the water. Jay O'Leary and his teammate Bo Schwarz are both there on 17. They're now too far back. John Vrodos stuck on 16 votes. Sam Danielle with a great end to the season. He moves up to 16 votes. Nigel Osborne, the 2020 winner on 16, alongside Blake Penny. Cooper Gaffney, Bradley Noble, Bo McRae, Alex Haran, Kenneth Carpenty, Sean Tapp, Jack Tringove and Alex McKay round out our leaderboard. But it is a race in two. Abe Davis and Hayden Jolly chasing the 2023 Keith Sims medal. Let's go to the final round of the season, round 18. Broadview versus Goodwood Saints. One vote, Goodwood Saints, B. Holzbauer. Two votes, Broadview, J. White. Three votes, Broadview, S. Danielle. Brighton Bombers versus Old Ignatians. One vote, Old Ignatians, W. Ferrari. Two votes, Brighton Bombers, O. Carthy. Three votes, Brighton Bombers, N. Osborne. Port District versus St. Peter's Old Collegians. One vote, St. Peter's Old Collegians, J. Reed. Two votes, St. Peter's Old Collegians, B. McGill. Three votes, Port District, K. Carpenny. 
Prince Alfred Old Collegians versus Tea Tree Gully. One vote, Prince Alfred Old Collegians. Jay Trengove. Two votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians. T. Brazel. Three votes, Prince Alfred Old Collegians. H. Jolly. And let's pause the count there with one game to go and just understand the ramifications of those votes that Hayden Jolly has picked up in round 18. It means that he has moved to the top of the leaderboard. He is ahead by one. Everyone else in out. It's Hayden Jolly, Abe Davis. We have one game remaining. It is Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Glenunga. Let's return to the live votes for the final game of season 2023. Sacred Heart Old Collegians versus Glenunga. One vote. Sacred Heart Old Collegians. T. McDermott. Two votes. Glenunga. M. McMahon. Three votes. A. Davis. And that concludes the voting for the Keith Sims medal. And I can confirm the winner from the Glenunga Rams Football Club is Abe Davis with 25 votes. So in one of the most thrilling counts we have seen in Division 1 medal history, it's Abe Davis from the Glenunga Rams who picks up best of field votes in the final game of the season to land the Keith Sims medal by two. Hayden Jolly, well, he gave a great sight. He led the entire evening. He's been a wonderful player for Prince Alfred for many, many seasons now. He finishes two back on 23. And then on the podium, it's Sam Danielle from Broadview and Nigel Osborne, a previous winner of this medal. Both of them on 19 votes. In equal fifth position, it's Jay O'Leary from Broadview and Bo Schwarz, who also had a wonderful charge at the medal tonight from Glenunga. He finishes on 17 alongside uh, young O'Leary from Broadview. Blake Penny from Tea Tree Gully on 16. John Brodos, wonderful season from him from St. Peter's, of course, in a team uh, that just survived relegation. What an outstanding story that is. He was on 16 votes after 15 rounds, just couldn't get it going in the final three games of the season. The Port District pair, Cooper Gaffney and Kenneth Carpenty, uh, both there on the second page of our leaderboard on 14 and 12 votes respectively. We'll flip across to page three. We can see Bradley Noble there from Sacred Heart on 12 alongside his teammate, Bo McRae, on 11. Jack Trengove, no stranger to this award. He's there on 10 votes. And we round us out with the two Alexes on nine alongside Sean Tapp from Sacred Heart. But it is an incredible win, an iconic night for the Glenunga Football Club. The first time they have claimed the Keith Sims medal, it's been won by Abe Davis with 25 votes. We're going to be at the Glenunga Football Club very shortly to present Abe with the 2023 Keith Sims medal. So we've got some highlights here of Abe Davis in action. Uh, this is him taking a set shot at goal. A beautiful kick he is. This is down at large reserve. And he makes no mistake there. Wonderful leg on Abe Davis. We'll move on to some vision now from the game against Prince Alfred Old Collegians at Park 9. And uh, really wet conditions here. The big body Davis makes an excellent mark running with the flight of the ball. And then, of course... Very, very efficient with his use of the ball, finds a teammate there. And then, gee, in heavy conditions, uh, down at right. Wonderful intercept by Davis, and gets it onto the right boot. Another set shot from Abe. This looks like we're at Karen Rolton Oval against the uh, Old Ignatians. And uh, I tell you what, you don't give Abe Davis too many shots at goal from that far out because you know what the result is going to be. He loves to hurt opposition teams when he's got the ball in forward 50. Now the running game of Glenunga showing out here. Davis takes the mark outside forward 50. That's him up forward and uh, yeah, the old Ignatius player, he reckons he got a bit of it. But the umpire's having none of it. Davis will take another shot at goal from directly in front. So we cut away now to some vision from the game against St. Peter's Old Collegians. We're at the delightful Cater Oval. The weather doesn't look too delightful out there. The ball is at uh, half back for Glenunga with the throw in. And a scrappy bit of play here. No one can get a clean handle on it. Well smothered by St. Peter's. Ball thrown out the back. Can't get the kick away. In the end, it's uh, Glenunga who will find a little bit of clear air here. And uh, the ball comes out to half forward. And look who it is on the chest. Sliding mark. 1A Davis. Gets it on quickly. 
And does he find a target? You bet he does. What a star he has been right throughout this year. An excellent mark by Davis, one out. It takes a very, very strong mark in the pocket. So we finally got some vision of the Rams at home and uh, Davis tight in the pocket. One step, left boot. Goal umpire loves it. So does Aid. Wonderful goal as uh, the Rams streak away from Port District at home. Round 17 now, what a critical game this was in the determination of the Keith Sims medal. It's Flanunga taking on Prince Alfred of the Legions. One out once again, Davis marks it on his chest. Cheers hard to stop one out. Wheels around onto that right boot of his and from inside the centre square, bangs it through almost post high. Wonderful goal, Abe Davis. Wonderful season for the Rams. Well, that wraps up our presentation of the Keith Sims medal on behalf of the Adelaide Footy League. We wish all of our teams still alive in the final series. Welcome back to the Keith Sims medal presentation. We're at the Glenunga Football Club and I'm with the 2023 Keith Sims, Keith Sims medalist, Abe Davis. Glenunga fans, big round of applause for Abe. Ben Stapleton is the president of the Glanga Football Club. Ben, I'll invite you to make the presentation of the jacket. Oh. And Nathan Grimer, the coach of the Glanga Football Club, if you could please present Abe with the Keith Sims medal. Yeah. Abe, congratulations. A thrilling count. Were uh, you as nervous as perhaps the rest of us sitting on the edges of our seats as those final votes rolled in? Um, yeah, I, Hayden and Bowie actually went a bit harder than I thought they were going to. So yeah, it was uh, tight till the end. I knew I finished strong, but yeah, when it comes to the umpires giving out votes, you never know. Best on ground each of the last three games, round 16, round 17, round 18. Did you feel you played as well as what the umpires thought? Oh, arrogantly, I'll say yes. But <laughs> um, I, I knew I gave myself a chance, uh, but again, like the umpires are out there trying to umpire a game. It's yeah, it's pretty hard to give out. I thought I gave myself a chance, but um, yeah. Spoke to Chris Aston during the week. I spoke to Nathan Grimer in the last couple of days. Uh, the club has absolutely loved your contrib contribution, what you've done here at Glenunga. What has it meant to you being a part of this uh, footy club? Yeah, it's been unreal. Um, the club, the boys have all welcomed me in with open arms, um, really just let me come in, do my thing. Um, and it's just been, yeah, really good, 
club to be around. Um, it feels, to a degree, a little bit strange being up here because, at the end of the day, we're just uh, a group of a group of boys that have really bought into you know everyone just playing their role and doing their bit for the team. So, as much as you know, I get this. Award. I'm certainly not standing here without any of my teammates. Let's talk about your footy journey. Most people think that you've just come from down the road at Unley Oval up here to Glenunga, but it's an amazing story. Some time at South Adelaide, but I think the journey started at Maroubra Saints. Just tell us about your early footy days. Yeah, it did. Um, my uh, granddad on his deathbed made my old man promise for me to play football. So, yeah, I think it was about two weeks later I was taken down to the local footy oval. Um, got to go and play at the Saints and I was there till about 16, made lifelong mates and yeah, had some pretty handy coaches along the way which certainly shaped my journey to here so yeah, certainly would not be here without them. You spent some time at the Sydney Swans Football Cup. You were drafted the same year as Isaac Heaney which is pretty incredible in its own right. Um, you've got Torres Strait Islander Heritage, you're at the Swans with Adam Goods, a couple of absolute legends of football, Buddy Franklin I think was there at the time. Just describe what it was like playing at the Swans in that environment. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty surreal. Like, I was a kid that grew up barracking for Sydney, um, so to grow up and be around it was it, it almost felt like a dream um, for the time that I was there. So yeah, the fact that I got to go through with mates like Isaac, Jordan Foot, a couple of others, um, yeah, it brought it back to earth a little bit. But yeah, for for the fair part of it, you know, I grew up idolising Goodsy, uh, and the fact that I was then playing with him, uh, Mum was still giving me photos of me as a five year old kid having photos with him, saying get him to sign it. And, <laughs> So, yeah, it was something that I'll certainly remember for the rest of my life. The end of last year, you've played uh, some incredible football at Sanford level. You've been uh, top five in a McGarry medal, top three in a Ken Farmer medal. How difficult was it to make the decision to choose a very, very good standard of community footy and, and finish up your, your SNFL career? Um, well, the fact that I had Nate at the club, I already knew a few of the boys that were here, I was, yeah, pretty keen to... Um, just get back to enjoying footy. I think that sample, you know, that hard slog, you're there sort of six days a week. Um, it's, it can get a little bit taxing on you. Um, so I just sort of wanted to get back to enjoying footy. And I knew that coming uh, to Glenunga, Nath was certainly driving a high standard. And I knew most of these boys would keep me to a reasonably <laughs> high standard. So, um, yeah, it's certainly not a decision that I, was, um, that I thought I'd regret. And, yeah, certainly haven't. What would a flag mean to you in a couple of weeks' time? Um, yeah, it meant a fair bit. It's the reason I came to the club. Um, I think I've found the, the longer I've been at the club, I've just found uh, myself being more engrossed in the fact that there's you know, so many of the boys that are here that have they've been here slogging it out through the hard bits, and you know I get to tack on at the end when they're already in Div One and flying. So, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to make sure those blokes that were here slogging it out in the crap um, can get what I think they deserve because it's yeah, it's certainly a, a Remarkable story. The entire Adelaide Footy League's uh, watching us from their respective clubs. I'm sure there's some people you'd like to thank. Yeah, look, I, I won't name names um, because I'll certainly forget all of them. But to the club in particular, um, to all the boys, it's, yeah, certainly couldn't be here without them. Just how welcoming they've been, how including they've been of me uh, and my partner, Kat. Uh, Kat, I'll thank as well because, yeah, the amount of stuff she puts up with is a fair bit. The uh, 10 o'clock messages at night from Nathan is, yeah, she's getting a bit sick of it anyway, not long to go. Um, mum back home who watches all my games and gives me all my feedback, um, as brutally honest as she can be, it's, it certainly helps shape me as a footballer. Um, yeah, I'll, I might cut it there because if I go on any longer I'll probably make a bit more of an ass of myself. The Keith Sims medalist for 2023, could you please congratulate Abe Davis. Nathan. We'll speak to the coach very briefly. Just stay right there, Abe, don't go away. But uh, Nathan, just describe uh, the contribution that Abe's made in his first year at this footy club. Yeah, absolutely. I know when anyone wins an individual award, your first thing you say it's about the team, but it's, let's focus on Abe and what he's done. Top three in the uh, Ken Farmer last year, two years earlier, top five in the McGarry. Found himself out of a senior team in Sanford when he's clearly one of the best players in the league. He could have took that one of two ways, you know, dug his heels in and gone to another club and proved them wrong, but he had nothing left to prove. He come here, he's been a great asset to the club. You know, our relationship, everyone knows about it. He's, he's a great man. His mum, Karen's super proud of him. And, you know, as, as a mate and a coach, I couldn't be more proud of him. But take nothing away from the other boys. Bowie Swartz has had a great year. Alex Harron, Michael McMahon, all, all the boys, uh, credit to him. 
but the big fella, you know, what a great reward for effort. So. Massive game this weekend. Of course, you won a piece against uh, Prince Alfred this year. They've had a great win in the qualifying final. You've got them. The Reds this weekend. Yeah, just another fierce contest. Good team. Had a great win on the weekend. Come from down at three quarter time. Team of good character. Well led by Craig Pitt. You know, uh, Trengo, Jolly. You know, very unlucky not to win the award tonight. The list goes on. So we know every time we play them, we have to be at our best. We're, we're super keen. We've done the hard work. Won 16 games. Earned home, you know, home final right and. Obviously, we'd love to go in first crack. If it doesn't work out, we get another opportunity, but we won't look any further than this week. It's uh, going to be an even bigger night than it already is. The Lenunga Football Club, Abe Davis, is our 2023 Keith Sims medalist. They'll all be back here on the weekend to take on Prince Alfred Old Collegians in the second semi-final. Please congratulate him once again, Abe Davis, the 2023 Keith Sims medalist. Ha, 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 ha.